just here for the clean air and the engaging conversation. Okay, so this is Captain Sam G, and as you can probably tell, we are playing The Darkness. This was recommended to me a very long time ago by Nicholas Funderburk, and I think we should play this and the sequel one after the other. I've played the first before, it's a pretty damned good game. Never played the second, so I'm looking forward to it, wanting to find out how this all ends. As it's October and it's coming up to Halloween, figured I'd play something a little bit spooky, but with a super-powered vibe to it. And if there are any superhero-type games, or Halloween-type games, or Christmas-type games, or any type games you'd like to see me play at some point, recommend them to me, I'll check them out, and if I like the look of them, I'll play them. For now, let's get to it. And for now, at least, playing on normal. I want a bit of a challenge, but according to different writers of the comics, eh, maybe we should just be able to completely tank gunfire, no problem whatsoever. But for now, playing on normal. I remember the night of my 21st birthday. That was the first time I died. Nice and ominous opening. Oh, blinding light. Ah, oh, what's the matter, you pussy? Huh? That one little baby cat from a nightclub bounty? You gonna sleep on me over here? Hey, I already told you, he don't look so good. That guy was a goddamn gorilla. Look at him. Oh, he's gonna rip my nuts off. He finds out we never collected his money. Oh, man. Damn, you screwed the pooch on this one, Jackie. You don't call these lights. You don't collect. That's not to even come home. Polly don't know nothing, all right? We'll tell him the money was stolen before we got there. Maybe he'll be nice for this, because it's Jackie's friend. The guy's slapped him upside the head with a 50-pound sledgehammer. Nice and inconspicuous. We gotta get a plan. Okay, okay, okay. Practical question. You think Polly was gonna want to stick up for the one hatch? I'm headed down. Yeah. I mean, I well he was adamant, right? Get the one trailing! 
So, this is how the game starts. All guns blazing. Information flying it to you from all angles. Good luck retaining any of that info. Oh boy. You don't know what to think. You're being flung around the car. Everyone's starting to open fire. And good luck actually managing to shoot anyone on this section. Everything so fast and loose. Yeah, clearly we've got a couple of professionals here. Ravesham construction site. Happily named. Classic mob venture filled with blue collar construction workers armed to the teeth. And my boss, Uncle Paulie, sent me here to whack the foreman. Like I said, classic. So after all that chaos, just a little summation as to what's actually going on because good luck wrapping your head around all that information flung at you when you're crashing into cars, you've got two guys screaming at each other, cops are after you. <laughs> I think I busted my watch. And now we're in this situation. Okay. Basically, our journal is telling us we're screwed. Okay. Lucky we're not paralyzed. A miracle that we're not injured at all. Oh. Hey, Mikey! Oh, shit, Jackie! My legs! I think I broke my legs! Hold on, just stand there! Get me out of here! <laughs> You're not looking too good, Mikey. Especially with that bone sticking out of you. Jesus! I wouldn't want to do that again. <laughs> ah. Oh man, would you look at that? This pass cost me 400 bucks to head south. Now they got blood stains all over them. Fucking 21st birthday for you, huh? Yeah. Got your present. Thanks, Mikey. Thanks, Mikey. Atta boy, Jackie. You look after those pieces and use them well. Uh, no, this looks real bad. Real bad. Now go find out what's going on. So if you've played the game before, the obvious thing to do at this point is to just shoot him and go about your merry way. Mikey, who's this Sullivan guy? And what did he do to Paulie? Who gives a shit? He probably looked at him the wrong way. There ain't no free passes for Paulie. No matter what he did. Just remember that. Where do I find Sullivan? He should be in his office. At the far end of the site. You be careful though. This boy is sure as hell nowhere covered. How many guys he got on the site? 20, 30 tops. Some real hard asses from the Emerald Isle. Hey. Fuck it. Let's just go home, and we're gonna tell Paulie we blew it. Are you crazy? <laughs> That's like asking a goddamn shark to share its dinner. We finished the hit. We just might make it out alive. Uh, okay, Jack. If you're alright now, let's go make that hit. Uh. 
pour one out for Mikey and Nino, the Laurel and Hardy of made men. <laughs> okay. So we now have access to our twin pistols, and I very much like that they have their own individual reticules that change position according to, oh, collectible, according to where they're pointed, how Jackie's holding them, so they're not always in the same position. So guys are going to end up having a lot of holes put in them. So, collectibles. I'll be on the lookout for them. I don't remember them being anything too spectacular. If anything, they kind of take you out of the game. But if I manage to find them all, I'll make a bonus video about them after I've completed everything else. So, the best way to deal with enemies in this game is to just outright rush them. Let loose with both barrels. Partly because it suits the game and it's a fast and loose combat and story. <laughs> I mean, this is how the game starts, just pure action, and we're hearing voices in our head. What the hell is going on? And also, we want to rush enemies because of execution moves. So, getting into cover, handy for getting our bearings, and regaining some health. But ultimately, we want to bring the fight right to the enemy, rush them immediately. Also because aiming in this game isn't the best. <laughs> if anything, rushing towards... Oh, don't you get back up rushing towards the enemies and shooting them is better than aiming and then shooting because once you start oh. Once you start getting some shots in, there's a sort of a soft lock-on. Okay, let's see if we appear on the news. I'm gonna be famous, ma. I'm gonna be on the big, small, silver screen. Damn it, they've quickly switched to Flash Gordon. <laughs> ah, damn them. What's the point of live news footage? If you don't show the murders, huh? I mean, jump up here. And time the jump perfectly because, oh wow, yeah, I was thinking this jump doesn't seem to be too spectacular, but damn, look at this tiny little hop. <laughs> okay, good. Another collectible. So yeah, these collectibles I'm picking up 
I think they're all just going to be phone numbers. I might be misremembering, there might be other types of collectibles, but I think it's just phone numbers that you call and uh, you get some pretty nifty answering machine messages. <laughs> like I said, it takes you out of the game a lot. Uh, there's quite a few strange choices that were made when it came to making this game. I mean, hey, mobster going up against other factions and wiping them out. Yep, that's all fine. The, uh... Ooh. <laughs> really, that was pick a peek -a Uh, the main brunt of the gameplay, which you'll see very soon. Yep, yeah, that's all fine, that's all spectacular. And then there's just a bunch of really weird choices they threw in for seemingly no reason. You'll see, you'll see what I mean. There you are. Oh, hello you. Are you getting back up? I don't think so. Brief little look, make sure I'm not missing anything. And this is our brief look at the city. Hey, it's your Uncle Paul. You know you've been a pain in my ass since the day I met you, Jackie pissing and moaning about the way I do business. Well, you need to learn who's calling the shots in this family. I've been very, very generous to you, Jackie. In fact, I got a surprise for you. On your birthday. It's in the closet. Have a blast. Okay, okay. Let's run. Let's run immediately before the whole place goes up. If I can manage to jump out this window there we go. Perfectly done. Although the place hasn't blown up. And damn it. So, this entire job, it was actually just a setup for Paulie to get rid of Jackie. Oh boy. Okay. The extremely. Yep. The extremely obvious threat on our life isn't enough to warrant revenge and to go out and get Paulie. No, no, no. We need to almost be killed. Me and Paulie never did agree about the way things were being done. Paulie took the business into selling drugs, working side by side with the cops. When I was growing up, the family had codes. We did business. We looked out for the people. I believe we ought to honor those codes. Now, Paulie, he's just a parasite. Wants to bleed me dry. I saw him. He came out of the window. Down there. He's going towards the cemetery. And almost succeeding in killing us. Jeez. Do we have a... Yes, we do have a zoom. There we go. Yeah, almost succeeding. Jackie, ever the optimist in life. Yeah, we'll actually check out what this... Darkness will fall. Okay, I'll remember that. Little bonus in there. Uh, yeah, he's straight up told that he's about to be blown up. Incredibly alluded to that he's going to be blown up. There's no mistaking it. And ever the optimist, he decides, eh, let's see what he has planned. You know, we've walked out of a car crash, and we've walked out of an explosion, and a big drop, and miraculously, we're fine. And, oh, and now we get to have a nice fight. Oh, he's getting back up. We get to have a nice showdown in a cemetery. Wonderful. Oop. 
Yeah, stay down. Don't don't get back up, please. Okay, just just wait for our health to recover. Wait for this bloody haze to pass. And then back to murdering. Oh boy. Okay. I'm in a state where I'm far enough away that I don't want to rush forwards. But I was close enough that I didn't want to run back and try getting into cover before I got killed before I could actually reach that cover. Christ, where is he? There he is! Damn you, buddy. Damn you. Okay, so we've got a revolver and a pistol. Swapping up our weapons as we need different sorts of ammo. Oh, fitting place for our showdown. But fortunately, we're still locked in.